Save your beats because we're about to stop. How I found out the latest 20 Youth was um, I was in a group home. I was in a couple group homes ever since I was uh, about 17. And they brought it to me. And at first I'm like, man, yeah, it sounds whack. But I came here, check it out real quick. And just looked around, seeing that there was a studio here. It's free. So I'm like, I'm gonna check this place out. When I was in high school, I didn't know about ASU 20. I seen it, I seen like the magazines and, and the newspapers they were producing, but never came to the space. Like, I didn't have friends that encouraged me to go. But I probably would have been out of trouble if I came here at ASU 20. I heard they was doing a lot of artwork and rapping, recording, designing, and I was interested in it, so I just signed up. I was walking by with my sister Amber, and we walk in, and there was so much like life. Like there were people dancing and singing and rapping. It was it was just amazing. It's the 20 years. It's a place. It's a place like no other. The initial exposure that the program gives to young people who are struggling with just so many things is truly an outlet and truly gives them something like they can take with them for the rest of their lives. Most middle schools have things like they have basketball teams, they have, you know, if you're lucky, football teams. What happens to the to the kids who aren't into that? What happens to the kids who just can't sit still because they got to dance or, or the rappers, you know what I mean, or the singers? It, you feel like, as a young person, where can I go? I need a place where I can like harness my talent and like get support and have access to shows and have access to constructive criticism. And being young, you don't know where to go for that. If you want to try new things, like go for it. This is one of the places you can do it. It goes from artists drawing to artists rapping. I mean, to artists making beats. If you want to put yourself out through AS220, you will get connections. If you want to become a graphic designer, they'll teach you the basics. If you want to become communications, they'll teach you the basics of communication. It's, it, it's always something to put on your resume. Before, I just had only this path career-wise, but now, like, AS220 has opened many different, you know, expanded my horizons. I have way more options than what I had a year and a half ago. Now I have a place where I can actually come and, and, and perfect it, you know, and get some help doing it. And, and if I get good enough, maybe they'll help me find some shows and teach me how to market myself, you know, and, and just be around people who are trying to do the same exact thing. Thanks to ASO 20 Youth, I know I can do anything I want. ASO 20 Youth is painting, is dancing, is is an arts program. A place to just get away. Computer design, this fab lab, this everything you would want to do in art. If you're in a black and white space, and then color just comes. People bring life back to this place. There really isn't much else like it. I think it's family. I think it's a movement. I think it's a remedy. I love it. I love it. I ain't leaving. <laughs> AS20 Youth is definitely unique in what they do. AS20 Youth is a place where artists let their emotions out. If you're feeling hurt, if you're feeling bad at home, you can come to AS20 Youth and through the music and through the art, it's some sense of healing. AS20 Youth helps kids with their art and all the stuff that they like to do. I was happy to come to like a different type of environment where you get a lot of young people doing a lot of productive things, you know, to work for a better future. AS20 Youth is a skill building factory. AS20 Youth is more than a non-profit organization. It's sometimes I can say it's a home.